We're probably gonna have to go all the way to the other side. Yeah, off the lake. Just to get... Oh wait, there are stones here. Oh, okay, maybe not. I only hit three shots. Rend. Yeah! First try! Oh, that was easy. I'm so glad it was easy. Phew! What are we at? Five remain. Alright, so is this gonna be one of those... Can I use this? Whoa! Crap. Oh, there goes that. Actually, no, I'm curious. Oh, that didn't even hurt, I don't think. No, I was wondering if there was any chest behind here. I don't think there is. Hmm. Not entirely sure, though. Cool. Crap. Hey, divination. How's it going? The fuck. Ugh. All you do is, like, quickly put down a thing. Shit. Without falling into it. There we go. Perfect. Now I can look around to my heart's content. There is one here. Any new modes? What do you mean mods? Because if mods, then no. I'm pretty sure my setup's still the same. Oh, right, yeah. No, I've not. I've not really come across any other mods that have piqued my interest. There was one that had. It was like a. Oops. I can't remember what it was called. I think it was called the Crafting Project or something, which allowed you to make weapons using, you know, various ores and stuff. That was cool, but. The only downside to that is it would inter... not interrupt. It would screw with my durability mod, so I kind of just said, nah. It's a cool idea, but I don't like the fact it screwed with my durability mod. The only other thing was I was going to attempt to create my own weapons. And when I say create my own weapons, it's not as cool as it sounds. It's literally taking a weapon that already exists in the game, giving it a new name and new properties, and I was going to call them Essentially, my own weapons. So like TRW, sword, shield, and bow. That's what I was going to do, but... You would not believe the amount of shit that's required to actually make a mod. Even if it, even if it is something as simple as a... You know, replacing a weapon. Or duplicating a weapon. I do not think I can reach these. These are real, real deep. No, my look, they're super deep and probably don't contain anything that useful. Hmm. The Triforce. Triforce of chests. That's actually a ruin. Yeah, I can actually see it from here. That is weird. Yeah, I think I'm too far. God damn. Try to get a little closer. I do not think I'm going to be able to grab it. I think it's just one of those that's too deep. Oh no, I can grab it. Never mind. Yeah! Through sheer luck and determination. <laughs> yeah, I'm honestly quite surprised. That's the only one that looked super deep. The other ones don't look too bad. You can actually see the ruin that they're on, which is real cool. Yeah, this one's nowhere near as deep. I mean, if I couldn't get them on a Cryonis Tower, then I needed a raft. But I don't see any nearby, so... Not entirely sure. Where had I gotten one? Um... I really need more shields. I really need the final Korok seeds. So then I'm gonna ha I won't have to do this as much. Alright, and the final one... Nope. I don't even know if I can grab it from here. Hopefully. Oh. That's a bit too far. Oh, that was dumb. That's why I should always wait for the animation to go through before I try and jump off. So then I don't end up just kind of plummeting into the water. 
Oh, bollocks. Oh no, it's it's directly underneath now. Great. Ah, son of a bitch. It's my own fault. I don't think I can grab that from here, can I? Nope. <laughs> Which means I have to put down another tower because of my blunder. Good shit. God, what a pain. There we go. This time, let's not screw it up. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, that was a trial and a half. So, ice arrows, silver shield, and a silver bow. Great. I don't think I have a bow I really want to get rid of. Hmm. I'll get rid of this because I've used it for a bit. I mean, I would still rather not get rid of any, but... Oh well. Are they all decayed? I know there's a Guardian Stalker around somewhere. There's no mod to keep items from breaking. And by items, I'm assuming you mean, like, weapons and stuff. But there's no mod to keep them from breaking entirely. There's a durability mod that's insane. Which, instead of increasing it by two times, like the one I have uh, installed, there's one that it increases the durability by ten times. So basically, I'm pretty sure a stick breaks in four hits. Regardless of what it hits. After you've, after you've had four, four, uh, four swings that make contact with something, a tree branch will break. With the durability mod I have installed, it takes eight hits. With the ten times one, it would take forty. So a tree branch would... would become... probably about as durable as... I'm not actually sure. I didn't really play that much. Or play with uh, the vanilla weapons all that much. Mostly because I didn't like how every weapon felt like it was made of paper, with how quick they broke. Um, what am I doing? I need... There it is. Yeah, it would make it so durability is not something you really have to worry about. Which would be perfect for some people. I don't mind the durability system, I just don't like how piss poor Nintendo's attempt at one was. Because it's not a good durability system. And I know they made it super... <laughs> not. I don't think they made it super bad, they probably thought it was awesome. But I know they made it in such a way to kind of encourage using... Whoa. Oh, great. Yeah, they, they made it in such a way to encourage using different weapons, which I can understand. It's just, I don't like how brittle everything is. Whoa, whoa. Oh, bloody hell. Jesus. Oh, right, I shot through the fire. I didn't even realise. Oh, no, you don't. Ooh. What the hell? <laughs> I love just smacking them off a horse. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. These guys are real. Hardy. You have so much health. What is this? Amaranth. Nice. <laughs> this guy's just getting juggled. Kaboom! And away he goes! Oh! <laughs> oh, this poor guy. Nothing but juggled around. What is that? Hold the f, -f, -f phone Oh god. A steel Lysel bow. Ooh! I'll get rid of my silver bow. Hell yes! Oops, I actually just want to drop. There we go. 36! Quick shot, too. This bow is wielded by Lizalfos, who are expert marksmen. The metal that reinforces much of the weapon adds some additional weight but offers heightened durability. Nice! Yeah, I know, it's telling me there's a shrine. I wonder where? What is this shrine, anyway? It is a minor test of strength, in which case I should be able to do this without any issue whatsoever. Oh, and there's a Korok seed right around the corner, too. Isn't that lovely? Da Hesho. What are these? Oh, right, I thought it was a spicy pepper. An apple. As is tradition. Oh god. There we go. Perfect.
Yay! Oh, ho, far away. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. I won't have to worry about anything ever again. I mean, I'll still run out of spares, I know for a fact, but... It's gonna be nice. Hell yeah! Of course, that's the way you do it. You give them the apple, they appear, and then you take everything that was laid out. I'm sure they don't mind. <laughs> Either that or they're really pissed. Right, minus has the strength. Actually, before I do, I should probably feast. Go on, Link, stuff, stuff your face. Perfect. We good. Oh wait, before I do as well. I don't want to go into this with my Zora armor. Oof. That'd be bad. Oh man. It's gonna be so difficult. Oh man, look at that axe. Is that an axe? I think it is. Whoa! Oh, oh oh god. You almost got me. Oh there we go. Perfect. It's gonna smack into this one. Yeah I win! It was that easy. That is a weapon I've not picked up yet. Wow. Woohoo! It's an ancient battle axe. Mmm. Cool. How good is it? 39! Oops. I didn't get to read that. It probably didn't say anything too interesting. 39. Uh, get rid of... There we go. The rod sword. Perfect. Right, is this going to be a weapon too? I'm really hoping not. And it is money. Okay, that works. Phew. Alright, give me the spirit orb and let me get out. There's actually a great fairy nearby. Oh wait, a great fairy. It didn't even click. So that, I don't know if... I think I still have two great fairies to unlock. There might actually be more than that. I got the one that's in Kakariko. I got the one that's to do with the horse. That might actually be the, old, the only ones I've found. Come to think of it. Yeah, I'm not too sure. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Right, there's that. Hooray! Well, that was easy. Right. Well, there's a Korok Seed. Or maybe not. And I have to just check. I don't think it is. Um. No, I, I, it must be. You don't see this if it's not a Korok Seed. There we are. Don't take the wrong one. Yeah! There's another. Okay. How many away am I now? Three. Ooh. Sure, I could get the one that's right next to the Great Fairy Fountain. Then one that's near Tarrytown. Actually, there's two that are near Tarrytown. One's on the bridge, and then one's right around the corner. Perfect. How much money is this chick gonna want? Oh, fairies! I'm in my tingle suit, so I should be fine. There we are. Can I take a picture of fairies? I can. Yay! I thought I'd already taken a picture. I just slowly... Easy does it. That's real simple. God, the tingle... hat, or whatever. Hood. It's awesome. And this is how you basically make no noise, except for when you sprint. Then you still make just as much. It is useful. Ew. Boy. Sweet boy. Please, listen to my story. Sure. I'm the great fairy... Is that Mia? This place was once a beautiful spring. But as time passed, fewer and fewer tra travellers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. Nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. 
All I need is 500. Psh, really? Once my power's been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Oh, wow. Yeah, there you go. Yes, you need 500. That is basically nothing. I think the most any fairy requires is 10k. I think. Whoa! I don't remember this cutscene. Oh, yeah I do. Never mind. <laughs> Whoa! I am the one who released you. Someone bigger. Wow. Slim little lad like you will do just fine, yes. What the hell is she planning? That's awfully ominous. Thanks to you, my power has been returned to me. I think you'll agree a good deed deserves a good reward. I can enhance your clothing, but I require the necessary materials to do it. Mm. With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing a fair amount. What can I even enhance? What the fuck? Shard of Farosh's horn. Silent Princess. I could upgrade that again. Wow. They don't require all that much. My rubber helm, one doublet, can't enhance. Oh, I can't enhance my Nintendo Switch. Shit. Thanks for the follow, Fitted Path. I appreciate it. Oh, I can't enhance anything. None of the DLC stuff. That just requires a Lizalfo's horn. I'll do that. Hmm. Sure. One moment. Poof. Oh yeah! <laughs> Some sets of your hands hold parts twice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I already know about set bonuses. Where the hell? Where'd my Zora Helm go? Oh, gets pushed all the way at the bottom. Kind of a pain in the ass. Sure. I'd rather just skip this. Takes forever, and more than likely I'm not going to use these. I will use the Zora armor, but that's mostly because of the... You know, passive ability that allows you to swim up waterfalls. Not because I actually want to use the armor. Alright. Do I have anything else that needs to get to level 1? Enhance away. Oh no, these are already at max. They're uh, not max. Already at level 1. Oh wow, that requires. They all require high tail lizards. Shit, I need a lot of those. Sunset Fun Firefly. Okay. I can get all that to level 2. Yeah, because that just requires some key things. I can also get all those up. Yeah, why not? Oh, that was a different. That was a different cutscene. Ew. God, the noises she makes. Oh. Alright, I'll actually watch the cutscene this time. I didn't realise it was different. <laughs> All I do is just giggle. <laughs> Yay! Wow, well, this armor's so good. <laughs> it's got eight defense points. Which is nothing. Any of my DLC armors is like 20. Plus... I think the best set so far is the Phantom set. Not the Phantom Ganon set, but the Phantom set. Mostly because when that is f all equipped, I'm pretty sure my defense is like 84 or something. It's ridiculous. I'll get all these two. Skip. I mean, I'm doing, I'm doing a little bit of stuff. There we are. I'm doing a little bit of enhancing. I only really want to enhance stuff that I can enhance the full set for. God, the freaking noises. They're weird. God, I only- I didn't have that many moblin guts, really. Considering how many moblins I've killed. It's quite strange. Enhance away! What else? Vault fruit. I don't have the full set for that, so sod it. I can get all of those. Yeah, I'll go with the stealth chest, why not? I'll stealth. 
upset. Oh. I don't really like this chick's moaning. Oh. <laughs> it's weird. There we are. One more thing and then I'm done. Did I get the... Karak seed? No, I didn't. <laughs> I completely forgotten about it when I saw the Great Fairy Fountain. Never mind. There we go. Yay! I don't think I have a use for the materials needed to upgrade stuff anyway, so... It's all good. Can she upgrade me any further? Oh, it's level 2 her max. Oh wait, she can get that. Oh, that's not up to... Whoops. I'll get up to level 2 too. Skip. Well, Zora Arm is a new... It's a new set that I recently got. I only got it two sessions ago, I think. No, three sessions ago. Two sessions ago is when I did the Divine Beast. Yeah! There we go. As I said, the only Zora, or part of the Zora armor I'm interested in, is purely the torso. And that's because it allows me to swim at waterfalls. It's the only reason. There we go. See you later. Magic. Can I jump in there? Oh dear. Oh, I can. I thought it was <laughs> like doing a cutscene or something. I her just throwing Link away. Not bad. What the? Oh. Oh, I have to count. My one weakness. Yeah! That's not all of them. Crap, where's five? What? Oh, it's up there. What a stupid place to put it. Yeah. It's kind of what got me a lot of subscribers. And I kind of regret... <laughs> kind of regret doing them. I mean, they were fun to do, but then it just kind of got me known as, like, an RPG Maker tutorial guy, which is not what I am. <laughs> I must have just made them on, like, a sheer whim. I'd been messing around with RPG Maker, and I was like, I could do some tutorials. Bad tutorials, but I could do some tutorials. But thankfully, I would say I'm, I'm quite happy that my PSP collection video has a uh, I think it's my most popular video now. Which makes me happy. <laughs> because I'm no longer the tutorial guy, I'm just the PSP guy. I have no idea. It's back when VX Ace came out. And I don't think there were many people that did tutorials on it. It was early YouTube as well. Well, not early YouTube, but... It was 2012 YouTube. Which was a different landscape by comparison to today. But honestly, it's just as surprising to me as it is to anybody else. I didn't think anything I'd make would get <laughs> that sort of attention. Oh, weird things happen. Oh wow, I'm... what the fuck? Who on earth? Oh, that was grand. God damn it. That is not working. Holy shit, this one's gonna be a pen. I don't even need to do this. But I just decided, screw it, I'll go for this. Ah, fuck me. I wonder. What if... Are you shitting me? Oh, that would have fucking worked too. What a lot of shit. That definitely would have worked. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I'm not doing that one. Screw it. I tried. That, you have to be real fast. Seems to be. God damn. It's all good. Uh, high truffle. Yeah. I'll just go for the one that's next to Tarrytown. And the one that's not far off from it. 
Right, so that's the one that leads toward Tarrytown. And the other one... I'm not too sure. It's just around here somewhere. Uh, should I go down to Lake Akala? There's only one chest in it, so... sure. Oh, there we go. Well, this one's simple enough. Assuming I can find the... The sto- oh, never mind. Is there only the one? I could just want I saw another one. Yeah. Oh, never mind. No worries, dude. Thanks for stopping by. And, uh, have a good day. Right. Boom. So there. One away. Woo! Yeah. There we are. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, there's a raft. That's not good. I don't want to use a raft. Oh, shit. Really? Whoa. Oh. I don't know where the hell the chest is. Go! I don't see anything. It probably wants me to use that. Oh, no, maybe not. Did I hear a... Okay, no. I thought I heard not the rock. I don't even know what I heard. It was something. Oh, it's there. Okay. Easy! Yeah, I would hope that I can grab that from here. If not, then this is a serious issue. And boom! A gold ruby. Well, that's quite nice. Uh, okay. So now I just need to make my way back up. It's actually not a fast travel. Tarrytown. No, I just realised that it doesn't have one. Oh well. Oh god, getting up here is a pain. There we go, go at an angle. You can climb anything. Alright. As for this other Korok, I'm not entirely sure whereabouts it is. Oh, I see. It's a goddamn flower. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be one where I have to climb all the way around it. This is gonna suck. Yeah, you can just make out the flower. Oh, fun. It shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Meat for power. Can't seem to make the dishes I picture in my head. What happened to my inspiration? In times like this I always say, nothing beats eating a delicious meal. <laughs> It not only heals your heart and soul, it can also make you heat, cold, shock, or fire resistant, or even stealthier. Dishes are the best. Thanks to cooking, I can move forward in my life. Or in life. I'm so glad I became a cook in this crazy world. Hey now, why not take a quick look at the ingredients I've gathered, eh? They're all fresh. No. Sure. Yeah, no thanks. Nope, I don't. Cool, I was a travelling chef. Isn't that nice? Alright, time to do this. What a pain it's gonna be. I just don't want to fall, because that would be the worst. Oh. It's going to make me climb down the edge. I knew it. Oh god. Why? Just do not press X. Because if I jump now, it'll make me fall off. Which would only screw things up. Are you serious? There we go, we got it. And there's all 409! That's all the ones I should require. Yeah! Nice. Hallelujah. Well, here's Tarrytown. Yeah! Oh, it's such a quaint little place. Man. There he is! Hudson! Hey! We meet again! Who are you again? I'm one of the Bolson construction contractors. The name's Hudson. I remember! <laughs> Me too. What are you doing? Since I've been transferred here, I've decided to build a village from scratch. 
Every village needs a name, though. I think I'll call it Terrytown. Good idea. However, what's wrong? I built a house to store the village supplies in, but there just isn't enough. Enough what? Enough anything. People, money, stuff. I'll help out. But why? There's nothing in it for you. I don't mind. You're a lifesaver. Well, I suppose to get started, we'll need houses for people to live in. We can't invite them until we have homes. Do you think you can bring me ten bundles of wood? If you bring me that, I can combine it with what I've already got and get started on new houses. There you go, Hudson. I brought them. Excellent. Can I have them? Sure. <laughs> nope. Bye. You're a lifesaver. Well, next is... Uh-huh. These boulders are driving me nuts. I want to move them out of the way so we can develop land of the land underneath. It'd really help me out if you could find someone with enough brute physical strength to bust them apart. Physical strength? Yeah. If we're talking about brute physical strength, then we... And we are. A Goron would be my first choice. Good luck, you'll need it. This seems like a real long shot. Oh, and one last wrinkle. Yeah, in accordance with the official... Bolson construction policy, that someone's name must end in Sun. If you run into anyone that fits with what I've said, send them here to Tarrytown for me. I need to find someone with the name Sun. Or with Sun in their name. Okay. There's another chest around here. I have an idea for a Goron, but I don't know if it's the correct one. Oh, maybe there isn't a chest around here. Maybe once the town's more developed? Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I'm gonna go and check that, just because. There's a Goron in Zara's Domain. And I'm curious if that's the... If he fits the bill, essentially.